with the MCU growing larger than life at this point, it's safe to say that we have gotten pretty much amazing stories, great characters to root for, amazing fight sequences, and just like how nothing is perfect in life, there's been some you know hiccups here and there. And now that we are almost at the end of phase four, I know that we are going to get even more amazing stuff, even though phase four, let's face it, hasn't been the best so far. So I decided to make a video about these fight scenes that we've gotten so far. So I'm here with eight best fight scenes in the MCU. Of course, there's so much more and I'll be doing a part two and more in the future. But before we get into it, please subscribe and turn on that post notification bell not to miss any other video. Now let's jump into the video. At the eighth spot, we have Daredevil's hallway fight scene, the very first one in season one. Yes, Daredevil is in the MCU now and of course, I can't include him in this list after I'm the one making it. But anyway, to some, Daredevil is the best Marvel TV show that we've gotten so far. Some may even say it's their best and I won't argue with that because it's a pretty damn good show. Apart from all the MCU shows we've gotten so far, it's dark, it's edgy, it's gritty. It has its comedic moments, also get the law side of it, which is also entertaining and you can't mention one of the best parts of the daredevil show without mentioning the fight scenes and of course the iconic hallway fight scenes that the daredevil show has been known for the very first one just took people by surprise how the camera was just stationary moving only at the pace a wonder that many directors now decide that they want to do in some of their movies but not quite right because it feels forced so daredevil in this scene is trying to rescue a kid who has been kidnapped and he goes through these goons while injured in the previous scenes so at this point he's not even 100% and he struggles gives his all the hand-to-hand -hand combat feels so realistic that you feel each punch landed and received and after an exhausting fight he gets it down and rescues the kid this is one of the best fights to me in the MCU now that he is in the MCU this may be canon but I don't care he deserves a spot in this list at number seven we have Shang-Chi versus his dad in Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings this movie is so underrated in the sense that people People love it there's no mistake there but it's not talked nearly enough as the other marvel properties because phase 4 has been so dull you know we have some good shows here and there some movies are good but i think it's one of the best movies of phase 4 so the climax of the movie sees shang chi facing his dad once and for all his dad persuaded or should i say deceived by the monster to free him this is where shang chi makes his last stand to stop his father from doing the unthinkable we see this amazing beautiful hand-to-hand -hand combat along with the power of the ten rings choreographed in a way that there's so much emotion in each punch each kick because at the end of the day you know that they are father and son and i love how some of the choreography parallel the first fight that the father had with the mother and truly they care for each other as we see by the end what happens to him the beautiful visuals the score the emotions behind it all and of course the amazing choreography makes it stand apart from all the fights we've gotten so far in the mcu at number six we have steve rogers versus the winter soldier in captain america winter soldier i can confidently say that captain america the winter soldier is one of the best movies in the mcu and i'm sure many of you will agree the second installment follows captain america as he tries to uncover a secret organization that is slowly weaving its way and taking over shield and even into the government as well and this scene is where an assassin is sent to take care of him the atmosphere in this movie in this scene was intense dark so Surprisingly emotional as well. We got our first look at this very capable individual who went toe to toe with Steve Rogers himself. Of course, he was not wearing his Captain America suit, that's why I'm just calling him Steve Rogers. But the hand to hand combat is one of the best in the MCU that we've gotten so far. Heck, some may even say it's the best hand to hand combat that we've gotten in the MCU. Of course, we've gotten Shang-Chi, so opinions may differ now. But this fight was gritty, it was intense, every punch felt heavy, and of course, the emotional part when Steve Rogers realizes that his lost friend, the one he thought was dead decades ago, was still alive. Bucky? Who the hell is Bucky? At number 5, we have the Wakanda battle, or shall I say, the last stand in Avengers Infinity War. They lead up to one of the most emotional and shocking moments in the MCU. We have the Avengers versus the army of Thanos. With the Avengers, Black Panther and Captain America leading the Wakanda people standing their ground, this was the last time to protect the Infinity Stone from the grasp of Thanos. And with invading Thanos ever so persistent, breaking the barrier, it was all out battle. And just when it felt like all 
all hope was lost as the army of Thanos outnumbered the Avengers and the Wakanda people. This scene here gave birth to one of the best moments in the MCU. The most hyped as I've even made a video and it's in that list as well. You can even check that video out. Bring me Thanos! <laughs> arrives and turns the tide of the battle this scene overall was so enjoyable to watch as we also got some fun team up character moments that is until thanos came and led us into avengers endgame should have gone for the head <laughs> At the fourth spot, we have T'Challa vs Killmonger in Black Panther. This movie was not just a shock to the system in the MCU, that is in terms of how good it was and their walls is stacked up, especially taking the MCU to the Oscars. It was also a cultural phenomenon. The story was on point, the characters were amazing and gave stellar performances, especially when it came to Chadwick Boseman and Michael B. Jordan. And the visuals did not fall short also and the score was also on point. Now in this particular fight scene that we are talking about, Killmonger challenges his cousin to a one-on-one one fight for the throne and as we saw a fight before with Mbaku and T'Challa it already set a stage on what it could be but it then gave us an unexpected fight. This fight gave us an intense emotional fight as T'Challa came to face a formidable opponent Killmonger his lost cousin who almost ended him in a very shocking match atmosphere and the emotions that was conveyed throughout the fight from the mother the sister the guardian all the spectators who were witnessing their king being humiliated and hurt and of course the cliffhanger which made us think that the king was there the child was gone but i never yielded you can see i am not dead man i still have to say i can't believe that chadwick boseman is gone like it just feels unreal and i believe that he embodied this character so well he was t'challa he was black panther and he will always win forever at the third spot we have the clash of the avengers in captain america civil war movie flips this third installment in captain america's story and makes it a mini avengers movie we see our favorite heroes that we've loved from different movies and gotten accustomed to them being united split apart and going against each other due to their beliefs in 2016 what most people could talk about when talking about movies was are you team cap or team iron man this airport battle was the final stance this is when it came to the teams assembled by captain america and tony stark and this movie was also the introduction of spider-man into the mcu and black panther as well who have gone on to become one of the best characters and favorites for many marvel fans it was also the first time that we got character interactions between some of these characters buckled in yeah no i'm good i'm good arrow guy let's go where are you from queens brooklyn who's speaking it's your conscience we don't talk a lot these days We've got a black panther versus captain america fight Captain America vs Spider-Man and so many other highlights in this scene alone. And of course, the very scary one of Rhodey, our war machine, almost dying. This Avengers free-for-all fight and conflict is so much important in the MCU because it was one of the reasons why the Avengers were not united and prepared to face Thanos and his people in Avengers Infinity War. Now at number 2, we have Spider-Man Assemble in Spider-Man No Way Home, the end battle scene. Wow, oh wow, wow. <laughs> Oh my god! Wow! Yeah, one of the best movies in Phase 4. It reunited these three Spider-Man that we thought would never happen. A combination of 20 years of story and history all in one movie with villains that we loved and iconic heroes that we adored. To be Maguire and Andrew Garfield returning was one of their highlights in this movie and was a very big talking point even before the movie was released, you know, leaks and all that. <laughs> and just when people thought that this movie would be overcrowded with so many villains and heroes, this movie still showed that this was still our MCU Peter Parker Spider-Man story and that with great story comes a great movie. And this end battle scene this climax in the movie did not disappoint at all the three spider-men reunite in their own costumes ready to do battle to save the world and the multiverse at large and as we see them struggle at first they now come together in synergy teaming up for one epic swing together which will be forever remembered in the mcu at the number one spot, we have Avengers Assemble, of course, in Avengers Endgame. You knew this was coming. This battle has been talked to 
there but still the reason why it is so is because it's so iconic that when making a list like this you can't keep it out of it the movie before that is so iconic also infinity war of course some people even prefer that to avengers endgame but the thing is that avengers endgame 2 is a combination of 10 years of individual movies team maps and story and overall just the sheer excitement of seeing all these heroes that we've seen for 10 years interact with each other especially those who haven't even met yet was enough to make this movie the most anticipated in that year and it is even fondly viewed as a historic moment in the mcu we got all these heroes fighting in this last moment this last turn to save the entire universe from Thanos. and the lovely thing about this is that most of these heroes got their time to shine you got the big three that is thor iron man and of course one of the iconic moments in this scene captain america wielding Mjolnir. the score the visuals the intensity everything was leading up to this and it did not disappoint at all in years from now very soon we will even get a crazier battle sequence more than this yes that is even crazy to think about avengers kang dynasty and avengers secret wars is going to blow avengers endgame out of the park but until that is done avengers endgame still holds the trophy and of course we've got to hear these words that we've wanted to hear from captain america since the first team up movie avengers Assemble. Now that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. All these five scenes had their own way to it, whether it was emotional, intensity, gritty, and bloody, or all the above. They all deserve their spot on the list. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it helps the channel out. If this video does well, of course, I'll be making a part two and more. So I hope you subscribe, turn on that post notification bell not to miss any other video. As always, Neddy Sage here. See you guys in the next one.